Ever wondered where everything came from? How did the universe with its vast galaxies and infinite space come into existence? This profound question has puzzled humanity for centuries. It's quite mind-boggling, isn't it? The sheer vastness of the universe, the complexity of its structure, the mystery that shrouds its origins. The universe as we understand it is a grand symphony of matter and energy, with atoms and molecules forming the crux of all things visible and invisible. Protons and neutrons, the building blocks of atoms, came into being shortly after the cosmic explosion known as the Big Bang. But what about before that? What was there when there was nothing? Surprisingly, even nothing isn't quite so empty. Quantum field theory suggests that a vacuum teems with physical activity, creating temporary particles. The creation of space and time, the formation of matter from nothing, all these mind-bending concepts are part of the grand unified theory. Let's delve into the theories that attempt to answer these questions. One of the most accepted theories about the origin of the universe is the Big Bang Theory. This idea takes us back nearly 13.8 billion years to a time when all of existence was compressed into a single incredibly hot and dense point. Imagine the entirety of the cosmos, all of its galaxies, stars and planets condensed into a space smaller than a pinhead. That's the kind of density we're talking about. Now, you might be wondering what happened next. Well, that's where the bang part of the Big Bang Theory comes in. In less than a blink of an eye, this ultra-dense point began to expand at an unimaginable speed. As it did, it cooled and stretched, spreading out across what we now know as the universe. This wasn't an explosion in the traditional sense, but rather an expansion of space itself. As this expansion happened, the universe began to cool, allowing particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons to form. These particles would eventually come together to create atoms, the building blocks of everything we see around us today. This process took hundreds of thousands of years, but it set the stage for the formation of the first stars and galaxies and eventually life as we know it. Since that initial expansion, the universe has continued to grow. We can see evidence of this in the redshift of distant galaxies, which tells us they're moving away from us. The further away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be receding. This is a key piece of evidence supporting the Big Bang Theory and the ongoing expansion of the universe. But what was there before the Big Bang? What created the conditions for the Big Bang? These are questions that have puzzled scientists for decades. The answers lie in the realms of quantum mechanics and theoretical physics, leading us down a rabbit hole of nothingness, quantum fluctuations in the very fabric of space and time. But that's a story for the next scene. Scientists propose that the answer might lie in the realm of quantum mechanics, specifically quantum field theory. Now you might be thinking quantum what? Don't worry, it's not as complex as it sounds. Quantum field theory is a cornerstone of modern physics that marries the principles of quantum mechanics and special relativity. It's a theory that describes how particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons interact with each other. But what's truly fascinating about quantum field theory is how it redefines our understanding of nothingness. Now, let's imagine for a moment that we could create a perfect vacuum devoid of all matter. According to our everyday understanding, this vacuum would be nothing, right? But quantum field theory tells us otherwise. It suggests that even in this perfect vacuum, there's a lot going on. The vacuum is teeming with what physicists call quantum fluctuations. These fluctuations are caused by the inherent uncertainty in the properties of particles, a fundamental aspect of quantum mechanics. They cause particles and antiparticles to spontaneously pop into existence and annihilate each other, all in a fraction of a second. These are what we call virtual particles. They might sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but they're a very real part of our universe. So, this nothing that we were talking about, it's not truly nothing. Even in the emptiness of space, there's a buzz of activity, an unending dance of creation and annihilation. This is the quantum vacuum, a sea of temporary particles bristling with energy. This brings us to an interesting question. If nothing is not truly nothing, if even a vacuum is filled with these temporary particles, could the universe have emerged from this quantum activity? Could these quantum fluctuations be the seeds from which galaxies, stars, and ultimately we ourselves sprang? So could the universe have sprung from this quantum activity? Quantum processes might have given birth to the universe as we know it. Fascinating, isn't it? The idea that our universe with its galaxies, stars, and planets 
could have emerged from quantum processes. Quantum processes, you ask? Allow me to explain. Quantum physics, the study of the universe's smallest particles, suggests that even in a vacuum, an area perceived as completely empty, there is constant physical activity. This activity can create temporary particles, and these particles could have played a role in the formation of our universe. Now, this isn't a simple concept to grasp. Even for the brightest minds among us, it's a challenge, but the grand unified theory, or gut for short, attempts to explain this phenomenon. This theory suggests that at extremely high temperatures, such as those just after the Big Bang, all fundamental forces, that is electromagnetic, weak nuclear, and strong nuclear forces, were unified into one force. As the universe cooled, these forces separated, leading to the formation of complex matter. But here's the kicker. What if our universe, this expansive, incomprehensible entity, formed from nothing? Quantum field theory allows for this possibility. The nothing we're talking about here isn't the lack of anything. Instead, it's a state bristling with physical activity a state that can give birth to particles and hence to matter. From this perspective, our universe could be seen as an intricate dance of creation and annihilation, where particles and antiparticles are constantly being created and destroyed. This dance could have set the stage for the formation of stable, complex matter, and ultimately, the universe as we know it. But what if the universe we know is just a part of a never-ending cycle? Just imagine, each end could be a new beginning, each destruction a stepping stone for creation. Now isn't that a thought to ponder? Imagine if our universe was born from an old, empty universe. This is the concept of conformal cyclic cosmology. In a quest to understand the mysteries of our universe, we come across a fascinating theory known as conformal cyclic cosmology. This theory is like a cosmic Russian doll, suggesting that our universe is but one in a sequence of universes. Each universe is born from the fiery death of its predecessor, like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Conformal cyclic cosmology proposes that the universe goes through an infinite series of eons, each beginning with a big bang and ending with an unbounded expansion. It's a cycle of destruction and rebirth on a cosmic scale. The theory's name, conformal, refers to the way it views time and space. As the universe expands and cools, the theory suggests that eventually, space and time become indistinguishable, resetting the cosmic clock for a new Big Bang. What's more, this theory proposes that traces of previous universes may still exist in our own. These are known as Hawking points, named after the renowned physicist Stephen Hawking. They are the remnants of black holes from previous universes, providing potential evidence for this cyclic cosmology. So, where does the nothing come in? Well, the theory suggests that as each universe expands and cools, it eventually becomes an empty, timeless, and spaceless entity devoid of matter. This is the nothing from which a new universe is born. It's an intriguing concept, challenging the traditional view of the universe's origins. Remember, these theories are continually being refined and tested as we broaden our cosmic horizons. Each new discovery brings us a step closer to understanding the universe's vast mysteries. Perhaps one day, we'll have a clear answer to the question, what was there before the Big Bang? So maybe the nothing that our universe was born from was just the remnants of an old universe. The origin and formation of the universe remain among the greatest mysteries in science. Today, we've journeyed through some of the most fascinating theories that attempt to explain this cosmic enigma. We've explored the Big Bang theory, the birthplace of protons and neutrons, the fundamental building blocks of our universe, We've delved into the quantum field theory, where even the emptiness of a vacuum teems with physical activity capable of birthing temporary particles. We've ventured into the concept of space and time being born from quantum processes, and theories like the grand unified theory that strive to explain these phenomena. We've also touched upon the idea of a cyclical universe, born anew from the ashes of its predecessor, as suggested by the conformal cyclic cosmology. While we may not have definitive answers, the quest for understanding our cosmic origins continues to inspire and drive scientific discovery.